Hi everyone, welcome to the second video on forensic imaging. Today we're going to be discussing how to make a forensic image in the Windows command line. And to do that we're going to be using a tool called DD, which you can see up here. Uh, DD is a very powerful forensic tool and what its purpose is, is it can make a bit by bit or bit for bit copy of a file, a uh, volume on a hard drive, or even the complete hard drive itself or a media device. This is important because it can copy uh, files you don't normally see, like root files, hidden files, unallocated space, slack space. So it's a very useful tool, but it is also a very powerful tool. And you could easily erase data that you don't intend to erase if you don't use the tool properly. So it's uh, be very careful if you're going to use it and just know what you're citing as the source and using the appropriate commands so you're not copying or deleting data that you don't intend to. Uh, so DD does have some um, updated versions, a product called DCFLDD and DC3DD, and these are, are extensions of this DD tool. Uh, that's not the purpose of today's video. Today I just wanted to go over the basics of DD, the original DD tool. So first I'm going to attach a USB that contains two text files to my computer. And for this example, we're going to say this computer is a forensic workstation. So it's going to be collecting the data off the USB and making an image of the complete USB. Uh, but this could easily be another hard drive, an external hard drive, another media device. Uh, so I'm just using a small one gigabyte USB. I want to pull up the registry editor to turn on the right blocker. And we can just search regedit here. You can also run the Windows command or the the Windows R key to bring up the, the run prompt. Uh, so we'll see here it's set to zero, so it's not on currently. So we're going to modify that to one to uh, turn it on. And then we're going to minimize that. And I'm going to connect my one gigabyte USB to the workstation. So here we have two test text documents. And to test this, we can even try to like, you know, drag and drop the DD ex executable file into here. And we're going to get this message saying that it's right protected, so we can't add anything. So that ensures the integrity of this data is not being altered when we perform this forensic image. All right. So the next step would be to bring up the Windows command line. And you can just type in command in your search here and open it up. And this should take you to uh, the current file, the current user profile that you're in. Now I have the DD saved to my desktop. So I want to change the directory, which is the CD command. And then we're just going to name the directory, which is desktop. And then we can use the command dir, short for directory, and that'll tell us everything that is attached to this or under this directory. So the directory is the parent folder. Here's what we have in this directory, and this includes the dd executable file. So we're good there. All right. So to run dd, all you have to do is type dd. And first, I'd like to start out by typing in the dd double dash help. And this will give you some of the definitions of the different options, uh, what you can use. I'll go over these options as I use them in this video. Uh, but one key thing here is to note that you can name a block size. Uh, so K for kilobytes, M for megabytes, G for gigabytes. And what that means is it's going to copy data um, one block at a time. And depending on how you define that block, uh, that's how much data will be copied at one time. So you can see the default block size is 512 bytes. I want to make sure that my one gigabyte USB is mounted to the system. And even though the file explorer came up with the uh, one gigabyte USB when it was attached, I still just want to verify it here as well. So to do that, I'm going to run the DD command, but this time double dash list. And what this does, it lists all the different volumes, partitions, and external devices that are attached to this workstation. So you have a lot of the internal hard drives, you know, the fixed media with the various partitions or volumes that are there, 
But what I'm looking for is removable media. So here we are. And this is mounted on the E drive. Now this is important right here, this full file path. And I'll explain that in a moment, but uh, we're going to need to know what that is. Alright, so let's create the forensic image. So first we're going to start with the DD command, and then we're going to do IF for input file. And this names the target for our forensic image. So the target is that one gigabyte USB. So if we look, remember back up here, we see where it's mounted. We have to include that full path. And what this full path means is essentially is that we want to image the entire USB disk, not just the files on it. We could name the files, but this is uh, essentially saying that period is saying all the directories or any any space within this USB. So space out of that and then we're going to do OF for output file. This is where we're going to save the DD image. So we want to equal that to and we're going to do this current directory which is the desktop. So we want to do C and now we're going to name so we already know the users so it's right here to my left so we already know and you can tab over once you start to type it fill auto fills that's a nice thing about the command line you don't have to necessarily type everything and then there we go and then finally I'm going to add one more oh, on desktop okay so I'm going to add one more uh, file so I'm going to create a DD file because it does have to be a, a DD extension and I'll just name it one gigabyte image dot DD. So this should save this uh, forensic image to my desktop. That's where it'll be located. I want to add some parameters or options to this forensic image process. First I want to define the block size. So BS for block size and I wanted to do it in one megabyte increments. And this is a one gigabyte USB so this should be roughly 1000 blocks of data that we are transferring. Next, I want to tell DD to stop imaging the once it's finished imaging the USB. DD potentially can keep on copying data outside of what you define. So to have it stop, you want to type in double dash size. And what this does, it says to, what tells DD is to look for uh, the target device in this case the USB, determine the size of that, and once the imaging process or copying process of that media device is completed, terminate the DD command. We don't want it uh, copying any more data than we have to. And then finally, I want to add just at the end here, double dash progress. And this will essentially just tell me how far I am along or the, the imaging or copying process is. And so let's scroll down here a little bit so we can see this. All right, so I'm going to execute this command. All right, so say we there you go. That's doing in the one mega, megabyte block increments, and it's going to go all the way. It should be roughly a thousand. It may be just shy. Uh, you know, you can always check the actual storage capacity of a USB or any media device that you're imaging prior, but uh, I expect this to be right around a thousand, uh, a little more or less. So I'll be right back once it's completed the imaging process. Okay, it's complete. So the first thing you may notice is now there is a one gigabyte image DD file up here. So it's saved to this desktop as we intended it to. And then you'll notice there was 991 blocks, one megabyte blocks that was transferred. So um, in terms of the in would be the source file or the USB, and then it copied it to the out file, which would be this image here. So what this 991 plus 1 means is there is 991 1 megabyte blocks. So that's roughly 1 gigabyte to shy. But use the plus 1 means that there was still an additional block. So there wasn't quite a full megabyte it's worth of data left in that last block. So that plus 1 is almost like a remainder if you're thinking a division problem. There's a bit of a remainder. It didn't quite fit all the way. So now we have this plus 1. If it fit perfectly, you see a plus 0. Um, but in this case, there was a little bit more data. So it's almost 992, but not quite. All right. So that is the imaging process. But one last thing I wanted to share with you is where you can go to get this tool. Um, so chrysocomb.net backslash DD. 
is where I downloaded it. It also gives some good information about its usage, how to use it, um, where it's come from, and what kind of some of its purposes are. So it's a really nice educational site just to learn about the tool itself. There aren't a whole lot of options to use with this. There's multiple versions of this. Um, traditionally, it uses the uh, Win Windows operating system 64-bit. I do believe there's a 32-bit option you could download if that's your operating system. I know most likely it's not, but you never know. And then, like I said, there are different variations, or I would say, for lack of a better term, upgrades to this tool that do come with additional options and allow you to do a little more. But this is just the basics for DD. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.